This video is for the uh, well, a sunroof fix for a 2004 Forester. Um, this is applicable from 03 to 08 Foresters um, that are equipped with the, uh, the giant sunroof here. Um, there has been some uh, problems, uh, especially on forums, that the sunroof will not retract back, and that some of the dealership fixes are you know upwards of fifteen hundred dollars. And I'm thinking they're just simple little quick fixes like the one I'm about to show you. Um, my particular problem that I had on mine was this little, I'm going to try to focus on that a little bit better, there you go. This guy right here, when it kind of retracted back into the rail here, this actually had a ton of grease with a lot of dirt and everything on it, probably from all of my uh, off-roading with the sunroof open, but uh, it got stuck in there and actually bind itself up. So normally what I do is get stuck about right there, it would stop. The motor would stop, wouldn't let you pull back any further, and it would just kind of bind up a little bit like that. But since I removed the blockage, kind of see how that works now. That's normally how it's supposed to go. That would be in the upright position for the sunroof at that point, completely closed. Down and then it starts retracting back. There's another one right here and it's duplicated here on the other side as well so if anybody has any uh, issues with their sunroof not going back at this particular point. So if it just goes down and stops I would uh, check these areas for any problems or blockages at all. Um, this does require that you remove the sunroof so as you can see I have no glass actually the glass is sitting up at the front of the vehicle but uh, it requires just uh, eight bolts so two here on this side two here on this side they were 10 millimeters same thing over here and here as well now for a modification if anyone's interested at the same time they can uh, go ahead and remove this um, or since they're already going to be removing the glass anyway this is a nice modification because you have to remove the glass to get to this particular part um, there's two screws here and what those originally held was this little clip that kind of sat in there like that and what this clip does is when you retract the sunroof all the way back this clip kind of gets attached into the the visor here for the sunroof it's clipped into here only when you push it all the way back so it'd be one click of the button it'd go back and then you retract it again so the sunroof would be all the way back to the uh, to the edge of the roof here I didn't like that feature I don't like the fact that it automatically uh, pulls the cover back over um, automatically since I still use the sunroof a lot so what I did is I just removed these two little clips and so now with the visor all the way back and if I move the sunroof mechanism all the way back here. Sorry about the shaky camera. You can kind of see that the uh, sunroof mechanism is now over that little clip area. Now, normally, this would have locked the, uh, the visor here in place and pulled it forward as well, but since there's no clip, there's no pulling forward. So, nice little modification. I'm looking forward to using it. Now to put the sunroof glass back on, just beware that there are, let me get these for you, these little wedges that are that are between the bracket and the bolt and the sunroof glass itself. So these actually actually go sort of like this. kind of wedges I don't know if they were for leveling or what but there was a on my particular car there was two on either of the uh, passenger side ones and there's three on these ones but uh, kind of take them off I have these in a specific order of the way they came off and uh, just when you set the sunroof glass back on just bolt these uh, in place and that's all there is to it I hope this uh, fixes a lot of issues for people and uh, hopefully they don't have to go to, to the dealerships and spend fifteen hundred dollars for new rails and sunroof mechanisms and motors and all other stuff all it was was just a simple little blockage of this guy right here alrighty this is how you reassemble the uh, glass back onto the sunroof as you can see these are the brackets that kind of line up onto the bolt holes here there we go there is a better picture same thing here on the back on the other side as well now these are those spacers I told you about earlier kind of just slide up just like that, and you just start threading on the bolts. So I'll grab a couple right here, real quick. I do this while holding the camera. Now 
the sunroof is in the full upright position via the button here. So it's all the way as, as far as it's supposed to go. So that's how I'm going to put it back on there. But that's how you do it. Just repeat for all of them and that's it.